Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Reluge. It's kind of sort of Toga in the back. And today we slash me and playing uh, Delta Room. And yes, I know exactly what I just said. Uh, I purposely waited until I uh, uploaded my first video until Jack. Uploaded his. Oh, oh. Well, this is my flapcat. The clouds are back in town. Well, bad news. Since you last saw me, several minutes ago, I've created a brand new fighting to break the stop. So, even the purple girl can stop me now. <laughs> you ready to be. Stop. Stop talking. Ho, ho, ho. What is that? Why are you saying that? Ho ho ho? It's my evil laugh. It's scary, right? I have a feeling that Susie is going to be leaving my team and, uh, freaking, what was his name? That guy is going to be joining my, uh, team in her place. You sound like a baby Santa Claus. Uh, uh you mean, like, in a badass way? Shut up! Oh my. You really think you know how to be scary. Well, I... Wrong. You had a lot of tough guys like you really piss me off. Face it, you wouldn't know scary if it picked you up and bit your face off. I'm sorry, I was laughing because that's what I thought. It's like you wouldn't know scary if it bit your face off. That's not true. Oh, really? Susie, calm it down. Then why don't we prove it? We'll start with the part where your face gets bit off. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Thank you, Purple Girl. What? Thanks. It was kind of you. Or it was kind of you. To teach me how to be scary with an evil laugh. Hey, I wasn't. And now... You're going to be thrashed. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> I guess that kind of, that's kind of an improvement. Just Sarah's walk away? Okay. Why did you pop up? You and I'll see more of the enemies about Susie. I really went on guard. I love fighting! Oh my goodness, ow! So sorry, it's pretending to march. Okay, they are still warm. Huh? Okay, good. Lift your finger and friends, I'll see you the same thing. I just wanted friends just like you. Where are the friends now? La la la. Look at the goodness. <laughs> Jigsaw fell of its boss and felt afraid.
<laughs> oh, look, Chris! Another puzzle! <laughs> oh, no. Let's read the instructions. What? Oh, no, I forgot. I will, I will, I will. The instruction. Huh? The instructions are vandalized! It says, thou fools, thou will never figure it out now! Your own instructions are definitely against the rules. Then, it, um, says, P.S., I make my own rules. Okay. Well, that explains that. I think I just climb over the spiked fence. Um, because I'm gonna get and fail to die. Cool. I'll work on that and you will do the puzzle. Um, try your best, Chris. Oh. Good job, Chris. I think you're going at your... Yeah. I think you're on to something. Hey, Chris. You have to whenever you feel like it. It's all good. Chris, great job! Damn, I didn't get to repel myself. Oh well, come on, chumps. I hope I can go back. <laughs> I love how they exited, it, but they're still following me. Alright, I'm gonna go back to grab that piece of cake real quick.
Place the secret. Ah, oh, come on, Aunt Bob's room. Oh. Let's try it. Oh no, that's right, Bob one first. Oh, that's interesting. button for the sprint. Oh no, this is the way I'm supposed to go. God damn it. Ow. Yeah. 
course, I've come across a spade bag, heart, and diamonds. There's a clover somewhere. Order the rooms in Card Castle. Of course, if you haven't been there, you wouldn't know it. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand how that works. God. I wish I read the sign before I went down here. Ah, oh, various guys up here. At least I'm getting a shit ton of money off of this. Step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. Ooh, okay. Ah! I went too far down. God! Saying a soft and entrancing lullaby. I then fell asleep. Susie fell asleep. The enemies became tired. Yes.
I was waiting for it to like switch up its order on me. <laughs> so you begin to cross the Great Board. The halfway point to our castle. Hmm, impressive. So it's a shame. You won't make it a step further, because my guys are about to smash into Smash you into blood. Lots of blood. Swooshing blood. Very gross and bad. Was that scary? Why are you asking me? Because you're really cool and at me and terrified. I want to be as scary as you. You want to be like me? Yeah! Well, that's stupid. But, um, we do laugh as it does all. And saying you turn us into blood is, uh, cool. What the hell is up with that bucket, though? So are you guys gonna attack us or... Oh, yeah! I was so excited I forgot to bring any guys! But next time it'll be the end for... Hey, I've just been calling you guys clowns! Does your team have an official name or something? Oh, Chris! We should come up with a name! No, we shouldn't. That is decided! I will put some name in the bucket! Oh, oh, that's mine! See, I think it's the perfect game! Because we're all friends! That, like, have a lot of fun. Okay, first, jeez, that's a mouthful, dude. Second, who are we? And who are we gonna think? That we're all gonna be buddies with him? Let's change it to something short and intimidating. Something punchy. Something badass. Like what? Mother goes and watches her kid knock over a fucking statue, they're not charging the mother. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's dumb. Yeah, they're going after the insurance. Yeah, the power of the fun gang shines within you. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Okay. Do, do, do. Those are going to wake up. Do, do, do. Running away from them. Do, do, do. Please don't catch me. Shit.
So that was all of them then? Interesting. All in their spirit, but that, but all in there doing is following the king. I saw the board used to have our own boss. Those <laughs> were peaceful times, but now even the boss has been reduced to the king's peon. Fear not. We, unlike the simple pawn men, possess full faculty over our actions. I, ah, Mr. Society, am far too intelligent to ever bow down to such a tyrant. Unless he asks me. He's very scary, you see. <laughs> well, stick on my mates! If it isn't a friendly fun game, you boys or girls are better turn back while you can. That's true! What is it this time? <laughs> I'm simply warning you. Something extremely dangerous is lying ahead. <laughs> it's actually really inconvenient. Ha! I can't go home at all because I'm so scared. But what is it? Oh god! No, no, it's a poker chip. That, that's what you're afraid of? <laughs> oh, wow, purple girl, you weren't scared? <laughs> Why would I be? Once it's good, I get off my keyboard. Hmm. Well, normally. Oh, it's a checker piece. It just got kinged. It crushes people to death, I think. Oh boy. Warning. You explained to K-Round about the importance of dodging Susie's attacks, but it didn't seem to understand. Oh god. Ah! He bowed? Even while she bowed, K-Round bowed back, its crown loosened. That's it! Chris, if we could get its crown off, it should turn back into a little guy. Susie, help us bow at it! Nah, it's gonna come off. When I smash this guy into the ground... No! The crown is 20% loose. Oh, great. I felt stressed out in the tap. Practice self care. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, it's attacking up. Stop attacking it. We're making it stronger. <laughs> and then think I'm afraid? No way. That voice is actually tiring up my throat. <laughs> All right. to survive for two more. What the fuck? <laughs> it's ground loosened. Think. <laughs> it rolls away. <sighs> You clowns really are heroes. They saved the next 20 minutes of my life. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty great, huh? Um, Susie, not to downplay your contributions, but you didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worse by attacking it. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, you could have avoided that entire battle. Huh? Are you for real? That thing was bloodthirsty. The only thing keeping it at bay was my axe. And earlier, he terrorized those troops. Those guys were enemies! They're for terrorizing! 
Yeah, she's right. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake. Cakes are also my enemy. Susie, whenever you, whether you like it or not, you're a hero. One with the power to bring peace to the future. Could you please start acting like one? Yeah, when you lay it out like that, I've been a pretty bad hero, haven't I? Then I'm going to be the villain. Fuck! I'll change my ways. But now I won't be such a rotten hero anymore. I'll just be one of the bad guys instead, I thought so. But really? You're going to be on my team? Yeah, sounds way easier, honestly. Susie, you can't just... Quiet, Toothpaste Boy! Susie is my comrade now! <laughs> yeah, Toothpaste Boy. We're gonna have... Hologram track, Jack. <laughs> yeah. And sleepovers, where we tell each other secrets. Um, yeah? Anyway, ah, uh, see you guys never. <laughs> if you can even last that long. Because perhaps I shouldn't have been so hard on her. But I just realized that if Susie's too eager to fight. Then, well, we'll just be kind to her, okay, Chris? I'm sure Susie will come around soon. Now, my question is, if you were uh, killing everything, would Susie betray you? And that door is very suspicious. The blocky foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the forest shines within you. The power of the forest compels you! The power of the forest compels you! Alright, so, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I am having a lot of fun with this. First, we're gonna talk to these guys, actually. Oh, there are horsey! Mr. Society and the puzzle guy fixed that door. Since it was just the three of us, it should work without any issues. Anyhow, haha, <laughs> hope it uh, helps you deal with the king. Hey, kid, we managed to fix up this old thing of the jig for you. It's some kind of door. It can take you anywhere you want in the world. As long as that's one of two locations. Anywho, we'll keep working on anything to help you out, kid. Well, thank you. So kind of you. So I'll figure out what's behind this door and what's over here in the next episode. So if you'd like to see that, do subscribe. Uh, also subscribe for the other games I've been playing. Uh, click on whichever thing you think is appropriate for this video. And until next time, stay light and nerdy.